Hey, I'm Tiffany Lawless, and I'm a PhD candidate here at K-State. Uh, I teach social psychology. And when I teach social psychology, one of the topics that I teach about is motivation, uh, intrinsic versus extrinsic motivation especially. So intrinsic motivation comes from inside of you. You enjoy a task for its own sake, or you, it's tied to a, like your self-worth in some way, something that's inside of you. Extrinsic motivation comes from outside of you. So like you're being paid for a job or your teacher gives you stickers for doing a good job, something that's the outside of you. Most of the time, intrinsic motivation is better. Uh, you'll do a better job, you'll work harder, etc. Uh, and when I tell my students about this concept, I tell them a story about my grades and my motivation for my grades. Uh, in middle school, I, up through middle school. I did pretty well. I was kind of academically inclined. I enjoyed learning. Um, but mostly my motivation for my grades was external. My parents would take me out to eat when I got good grades, etc. And I did okay. I got mostly A's. I got a few B's. It was chill. But then in eighth grade, this guy, who shall remain nameless for the internet, this guy started to brag about how he was going to be valedictorian in eighth grade. And this guy, he was not very nice to a lot of my friends because he was the kind of person who was only nice to you if he thought you were smart. So he was nice to me, but he was mean to a lot of my friends. And I did not like him for this reason. So I, thought, I started thinking to myself, I was like, I'm gonna show this man, I'm gonna be valedictorian. And I worked really hard from eighth grade through high school. And I took all the AP classes that I could and I, a lot of late nights, a lot of early mornings, I worked, worked, worked. And we got to the end of senior year. We got to like April senior year. And this guy goes to check his class ranking at the end of physics class one day, because this is the first time he's checked it because he's a cocky man. And he opens it and he's like, I am ranked number two. And in my head, I was like, yeah, it's because I took one more AP class than you did, because I knew. But I didn't tell him. I was like, that's so strange. Who possibly could have beaten you? You're so smart. <laughs> and then he didn't know it was me until we started planning the graduation ceremony and people were like, oh, you're ranked number one. I was like, yeah, I know. And that spite for that man turned into an, a very strong intrinsic motivator for me to get my grades up. It was spite and I really, really wanted to show this guy that he wasn't so great, right? Uh, and when I tell that story, the students A, remember what motivation means, uh, but, which is most important, but B, also tend to see me as more human. Uh, instead of seeing me as someone who academics just come easily to, they see me as someone who had to work for them, but also who whose like work for them came from a place that was not noble. <laughs> it was spite, right? And then I joke and I'm like, and that's how the high school Meanie head, that's not the word I use, meanie head, uh, led to me getting a full ride to college. And my students love it. We tend to communicate better after that moment that comes early in the class. And it's a really good time for everybody involved. I hope that you have a great day.